All right, here we go. Another Jezo stream complete, another loser smasher to expose on video. I thought for about a minute or two how to start this video, but, ob but honestly, I think that the footage will probably just speak for itself. All you really need to know in the beginning here is the format of this video is going to be basically me explaining what happens and then me cutting to my stream so that you can see what was happening from my point of view of the stream. In advance, I just wanna let you know I'm cutting out very little. I will make the entire stream uh, public and unedited if, uh, if asked to, but really the only cuts will basically just be the silent moments or in between moments where I was like pausing in between me speaking. But for the most part, there'll be very little editing and what you really need to know about the context of this this, is that this is just like many of the other videos I've made where I just streamed and decided to do some me gunner playing in someone else's arena on the SSBU category on Twitch and the streamer and their chat lost their goddamn minds. No surprise there. This one was particularly bad, although I don't know what that really means at this point because they're all particularly bad. They just seem to get like way worse one after the other as if there's no real ceiling to how bad they can get. But yeah, this one was pretty bad considering the chat was pretty awful and the streamer was completely unhinged even though I really hadn't done anything. But anyway, you'll see. And again, I'll just be cutting in with vlog style speaking throughout the footage, but you'll basically get the gist of it. So to start out, I'll just run the footage of when I joined right after I basically started my stream. Not much to say here. This is just before, this is before I started playing. It takes 45 minutes or so every time you join someone's arena to finally play. Because if there's seven or eight players, each match usually goes to time, unfortunately, in this video game. So you have to wait a while, but won't say much more because there's not much to say. And then I'll jump back in right after I start playing. Little with the L I L, your government. This guy's definitely not gonna like allow me in. I just realized too what my what my yeah, name is, is on my Switch. I'm gonna be kicked immediately probably. Also, this song was too goddamn quiet too. Turn this shit up. Too quiet. Oh my god. Let me turn you the fuck down then. Turn I'm not really into any games. I'm just really not oh, a Rob gamer. No joke. I'm just not real. I've got Welcome better, bigger and better I'm things sorry, going on in life. I just stream so <laughs> I can. <laughs> does. Whatever. I'm not going to get into it, but yeah, I'm I'm just, IP, I don't really like anything. Any games. A venue that's really close by. 20 minutes away. If you stay at my house, I'll drive you to the venue. Am I hearing this right? You in Chicago? This guy's inviting yeah. Smashers to his house. Been in Chicago, always wanted to go. Yeah, November. Oh, silly, I had just heard him say, yeah, if you're going to the X or Y or whatever, I'll host. It, it, is this guy for real right now? Yeah. This guy's out here inviting kids to his house. Although I do got a cousin that lives out there. No, fuck these. No, I don't. Dude, you. No. Smashers are losers. Pedophile supporting pieces of shit. Okay, so Ram V, the thing though, is, I don't know how to begin to explain what I'm doing right now. It's just gonna take so long. I stream this to basically show so off like the shitty behavior of the community. It's oh, like we a good condensed yeah, version into one earlier. sentence. He's just the I just, right. I stream this to showcase though. the bad behavior of Smashers. And you might be yeah, like, well, what are you talking about? I haven't seen these guys do anything yet. Okay, now you have to wait until I play the video game. There's very few reasons for me to even be streaming. Okay, oh, it's so my it's turn. Not necessarily key. Keep an eye on it's the chat, everybody. Shake. Gunner? Who went Gunner? Who went Gunner? Oh. Say something in the chat. Oh, it's, Lol Yo it's not Lol Yoshi, bro. No, they were in chat earlier talking about is their arena right? It's not Ace of Grime, because Ace of Grime is like, their name is Aces or whatever the fuck. I remember somebody asked for their arena ID earlier, but I can't. Y'all been chatting too much. You know him? Does he really? Now you can see here the first chat member chimes in after he says, who is this? Who is this guy? Why are they playing me Gunner? The first chat member finally says something and he goes, I know this guy. He does this all the time. He's so corny. But let me remind you of the point of view of them at this point. All I did was play the game. I'm gonna admit that, yeah, I had a bit of a provocative name in this situation. I didn't actually mean to. I just booted the game up because I had that last time as, as a troll name for Elite Smash. But whatever, it, who cares? Who the f*** actually cares? But the guy was like, he does this all the time. Now, I don't know what he means by this because seriously, from their point of view, it's just another player who joined to play and then their turn came up and then they started playing. So I don't really, know. so I like I'm always saying, what exactly is, like, what does that mean? He does this all the time. What, like join an arena and play? 
okay, there's like a million arenas going at once all the time with all the same people joining them all the time. So what's the difference here between me and them? I'll tell you. Me Gunner, he does this all the time. He always plays Me Gunner. I can't believe he does this. Play the game as a character that you don't like. Hold on though. He's winning though. Is he good at the game? Are they, are they like um are they sus? Do we need to uh, do we need to kick him for a, a different reason other than going gunner and just being annoying? You know, I know this is a really short segment to be interjecting this long for, but I can't stress enough how weird this is to me because the thing is, and I always say this, I wouldn't be able to make videos like this exposing all this kind of shit. If you just let me play the game, I don't even really do anything. I just sit here and join with my character of choice and you bug out about it. If you have said, if you, the chat members of the Smash Bros community, say nothing and just let me play the game, you wouldn't be <laughs> totally exposed like this all the time. And I already know what you people are thinking, exposed, who's exposed? We're not exposed. Jayzo, you're the one that's about to be exposed. Exposed for what? I'm about to show you what their chat and this streamer's reaction was to me simply entering the arena and trying to play the game. I, you'll see, again, this is, let me roll the footage. What is this? Okay, so right here, what this guy does is he closes the Smash gameplay to basically open a video of mine. I think it was the one where I made a video on it. It was a guy named Conan I made a video on. It's a pretty old video. The audio in the following clip here gets a little confusing because you'll hear him opening. You'll hear, you won't see my video, but you will hear my voice, but it's not from my current live stream. It's from the video he had opened which is just a segment of that Conan video I made. So like I said, the audio gets a little confusing. I'll put subtitles where they need to be. But yeah, so this guy opens that random video of mine. And he, as you just saw, he also just said, who's this? Which means, and this will be important later, this means that this guy has never heard of me and doesn't know anything about me. Keep that in mind, roll the footage. I, I don't know who that is, but I wanted to play in your arena. Stop. Yeah, who? He just said some something. They're Antlers watching my this video. Whatever. I'm done. <laughs> Enough for this streamer. Stop yelling at no. me. <sighs> oh, is, so what the fuck? You kind of just missed it. I'm the best. I, I got kicked and, for. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a quick. This summary. guy is this streamer. He stopped his stream to watch his my video. He I'm not, there's no exaggeration. It, in the little bo bottom left, it said streamer, whatever his name was, has reached 25. Okay, yeah, I know that was a little confusing. He basically pulled up my video, that Conan video, played parts of it, and then he said, who the fuck? And then he read my description out loud, part of the description. And while live, remember, this is all footage from my stream. So I know, again, this is a little confusing. But while I was live, I said out loud, oh, he stopped his whole gameplay to pull up my video. Also, did you notice how you're, you're about to see how one guy also says, oh, this is Jayzo with mad question marks and then says, oh, nah, hell no. Nah. Well, I think it was two people. I think two dudes. Actually, it's more than one person that says something like that. Hell nah, dude. This is Jayzo. Oh my God. Hell nah. Everybody's bugging out. Who the fuck is this? Who is Jayzo? this? Conan K go. Kelp FGC is in the fucking tap. <laughs> It's in the description. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking me why I put the names of the players in the description box of the videos I post. It's really not rocket science. I've answered this many times. It's really not complicated. It's an ease of access lookup thing. It's what normal people do if they want to look things up later. So I just put the names of the players this way. If I need to find someone later, I can Google them and it comes up. It's really not brain science. It's really not anything that takes more than a few brain cells to understand. But I'm just putting this out there in this video to explain it once more because obviously it's a concept that smashers cannot understand. If you want to look somebody up later on by name because, you know, maybe you recognize their name, maybe they're in a different chat a couple of months later, which is pretty often. So sometimes I have to look them up like, wait a minute, didn't I see this guy in, you know, six videos ago? Is this the same guy who was insulting me for no reason seven months ago, eight months ago? And I looked them up by Google and there it is. I can see, oh yeah, this is the same freaking loser weirdo from like last year even. It, it goes that far back. But yes, not that complicated, but I guess it's something I have to mention every once in a while because people can't, smashers can't understand why you make a description box. Also, even if it's not Google, creators themselves can look that up very easily by searching their own videos. There are keywords. You go to your video list and you search up keywords. The title of the video, keywords in the description of the video. This is just like a lookup 
accessibility thing. Uh, it's just so that I can find the video later. I'm sorry if your rotted brain can't comprehend that idea. They're just watching my video. Oh my god, everybody's in this guy's chat. I made a video about you. Oh, really, Kami? Look at how much they're bugging out about me. Nah, fuck that shit, bro. What do you mean? I'm just oh, okay. okay. Are you talking to, uh, to Jizo? Who the fuck is this, bro? I'm just playing the game right now. From their point of view, I haven't done anything but join bro, and win. I have more subscribers than you on YouTube. You don't even have that many followers on YouTube, bro. No one cares. Who cares? I don't do this to make content for Smashers. I do this to basically make fun of Smashers just because I have the time on stream. It usually just comes out in highlights. And here's where I have to start to mention the fact that this guy keeps admitting that he doesn't know me. He keeps saying, who the fuck is this? Who is this guy, yo? He keeps saying, who the fuck is this, bro? You're admitting that you don't know anything about me. So here's my question. Why are you suddenly trying to have a subscriber race with me? If you just heard about me not five minutes ago, why are all of a sudden feeling so personal towards me that you have to be like, you don't even got as many subs as me, bro. Look at how many subs I got. Why did you suddenly just get like super like offended by my by just my existence alone? Because again, this will be recurring now because he doesn't know about me. But as you're about to see, he starts to get very personal for no reason. He hit the, you're gonna, again, you're gonna see. So I'll roll the footage, but it's just so weird. You're about to see how strange it is. You just heard about me. And all you do know about me is what your chat is complaining about. And maybe the five second clip of one video out of like hundred videos that I have. So who the fuck is this man? I just heard about him. Oh, uh, he made a video. Yo, I got more subs than this guy, man. I got more subs than this guy, man. The fuck? Oh, and I win. have more subscribers than you on YouTube. You don't even have that many followers on YouTube, bro. Up oh, and now he's comparing follower see? counts. Not Google. Account. Follower counts. Woo! Shit, I don't even use YouTube like that. I got more followers. Whoa! Than you. I got more subs more than followers. On more That's smash cool. followers That's equals more success in life. Oh, he's gonna 1. watch 5. his own videos. He's watching his he own videos 1. to like 3, Hold show this off. <laughs> Come on, this is what he looked like too. Oh, now they're making fun of how I look. Yeah, he stops everything to show off that he's got 1.5k subs, and I only have 1.36k subs, and I should hold that L. It, like, am I really supposed to take these people seriously in any way, shape, or form? Do you smashers really think any of this matters to me? Also, you're about to see some really weird shit, because now he starts personally attacking how I look. He basically zooms in as far as he can on his browser, at my profile picture, which is the one of me at the park with devil horns. Why? Like, he, again, uh, to, to, to have to say this again is weird, but just a reminder, I never personally attacked this guy. I, I don't, I just joined his arena as me gunner won a game. His chat was completely bugging out. He pulled up a video and watched about 10 seconds of it. And now he's comparing subscribers. I got more than you, man. I got 150 more than you. So hold that L. And now he's going to start personally attacking how I look. Again, why? What did I do to this person that he's now making fun of my looks? Like I care. How, how old? <laughs> I didn't mention anything about this guy's stream setup or how he looks or anything although i did comment to my own audience at the time when he was like looking me up and pulling up my video i was saying out loud to my own audience things like you heard before like oh now he's comparing subscriber counts yeah you have more smasher followers it means more success i was saying that sarcastically obviously but that's a comment to my own audience at the time so again but is that even an insult I'm just commenting on the stuff he just started to say about me, about his little personal subscriber race on YouTube, which didn't exist 14 seconds ago before he knew who I was, which he still doesn't. He doesn't even know that the description of where I say I'm from North Carolina isn't true. He doesn't know anything, and he's so upset. All right, so I'm just, I'm rambling now. Like, making fun of my looks like we're in middle school. This is a fully grown man who acts like this over what? A few people saying that they know me in his chat and I should be kicked and I chose me gunner and now suddenly you have to make fun of me and 
and show that you have more subs on YouTube? I mean, to just have heard about me and immediately going for attacking my looks and having to show that you have a bigger, uh, a bigger follower account than me on some social media site. I mean, that right there is a red flag that someone is compensating for something. That's all I'm saying. This was you, bro. Dog. He the guy like has never heard has of me. To visit us, dog. The guy has he never heard like of me until I started playing in his arena, and now he's already making fun of my you looks. That, uh, the aliens that mes the Mexican government showed the court. That's what that fool looks like, bro. He's the alien from Mexico, bro. <laughs> Insulting my Pull looks. Hold on, hold on, put the music back on. Put the music back on. Because a bunch of people in this chat just told them about me. Nah, bro. Because why he look like this a little bit, bro? Why? <laughs> why he look like this a little bit, though, bro? He's live. No way, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's got 88 viewers, bro. Holy shit, dog. <laughs> I'm over here making. He's restreaming me. Oh, nah, bro. This, you actually can't do that on Twitch, bro. Yes, you can. So I'm gonna have to report your channel, even though I'm doing it to you. Uh, reporting me. Didn't you just meet me? Didn't you just hear about me five seconds You're banned ago? You're already, Mabel. Here he goes again with comparing the numbers. What is it with this guy and suddenly comparing numbers? Subscriber count, viewer count, who cares? I don't care, but he goes, oh man, this guy's got like 80 viewers. I'm out here about a shit on this guy and his 80 viewers or something, I don't, I don't know, whatever. And then he starts threatening to report me, which is hilarious. And then the chat members start to make no sense because they keep saying things. One guy says, any N word that loses to Jayzo will be banned on the spot. So now I'm getting confused because I don't ban people who I beat online. If that was the case, I would just, oh, if that was the case, everybody would be banned. But no, it's so weird. Now these people in chat are actually just making no sense. They're saying, oh, you're going to get banned. He's going to get banned. She's going to get banned. I don't know where all this weird ban stuff in his chat comes from. But yeah, comparing numbers again, uh, threatening to ban me over uh, putting commentary over his live streams, it just weird chat members. It just all gets so strange. And then after all that, after threatening to report me for rebroadcasting his channel, he just says, I'm gonna pull this guy up and opens my channel. So he threatens, yo, yo, you can't do that, man. I'm gonna have to report this guy. I'm gonna have to report you for, for opening my stream on your stream. And then he opens my stream on his stream. And then he starts talking to me or trying to talk to me in real time. Gets a little confusing again, but I don't think I have to explain this one. There's a little bit of a delay from when I'm answering him and when he can hear me answering him. So you'll see, he pulls me up on his stream, which he just threatened to report me for doing to him. Anyway, you'll see here that he starts, and, and by the way, let me warn you, this is where it gets, to me, really personal and weird. Just wait until he makes his whole stream his full cam. You'll see what I mean. So what's up, G? What's happening? So what's good? Why, why you got followers only chat on? Oh yeah, sorry to interrupt again so early on in this clip, but this is another one of those things that I guess I'll address real quick here in this video. It's, it's similar to when people ask why I put names and keywords in my description. It's another thing that I don't, I didn't think how to be explained or something that I already did explain. But yeah, I guess I'll explain it here again because he also says some false things about it, which I'm just gonna clear up in advance. First, he just asks, why do you got followers only mode on, bro? Well, you got that on, man. It's, it's a little, he acts like that's kind of suspect or something. You know, there's a lot of reasons why streamers have followers only mode on. Primarily, it's because they like the person to follow. People that follow your channel are much more likely to, to come back. That's plain and simple for, for most streamers. However, there are other reasons why people do it. In my case, I am not trying to build a community of smashers, and that is the reason that I have that on, because it's basically the opposite of what I just said for most streamers. Most streamers have it on because they want people to follow because they're unlikely to unfollow, and they're more likely to come back. In my case... The reason I have followers only mode on is because I am trying to not build a community of smashers. So when I am streaming in the SSBU category, when I have 80 viewers, 80, 90, 100 plus viewers in the SSBU category on Twitch, and somebody follows me, and I know that they're from Smash, I want some time to be able to force unfollow their account on my Twitch. For me, it's a security measure. I don't want smashers in my chat. Yes, I'm streaming in that category. Yes, I'm uh, quote unquote playing the game, but I am actively trying to not build a community off this game. I don't want to interact with smashers. I have the people who watch me and can't chat because I force unfollow them. I don't 
ban them. I don't wait for them to say something and then ban them. That's like, it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't work that way for me. For me, I'd rather just, you know, notice the followers at the end of the stream and then force unfollow them with the commander root uh, Twitch unfollower tool. That's why I have 30 minute followers only mode on because I see a bunch of smashers follow me. I don't want to have to take the time to ban each one when they say some dumb shit in my chat. Instead, I wait till the end of the stream or 30 minutes or so whenever I'm taking a break and I can go in the commander root tool. I don't have to do it manually one by one like banning them. I can just click all of the smashers who followed me during the smash stream, smash stream, and I can remove them from following me, which also means now they can't chat. So that's, again, one of those things that's not rocket science. It's, I mean, I know you didn't know that, by the way. I know he didn't know that. I know that a lot of people don't know that. But there you have it. I explained it once. I explained it multiple times. And now I'm explaining it here again. But it's important to note that in the future, like you're about to see a clip where he says, oh, you got followers only mode on because, you know, people are going to talk smack. Okay, fine. Maybe they will. But like, you act like I'm afraid of that. It's the internet. Who cares? I've been doing videos and exposing dumb smasher communities like you and yours for two, three plus years almost. So you really think at this point, three fucking years later, with all of the threats, the death threats, the uh, even rape threats, the insults, the targeted harassment, the uh, harassment of my channels and my discord and my community members, even though they're completely innocent in all this, everything from the doxing attempts to the personal insults to the racism, homophobia, transphobia, all that stuff. You think after all of this stuff, after three years of exposing this community for all of that behavior, you think I'm just afraid to see some mean comments in my chat? Again, you don't know that, but I'm telling you now. I'm not afraid of these idiots' little mean comments in my chat. It's just that I'd rather not have to deal with all of them in my chat. I can just wait for them to follow me and go, here's all the people that followed me for Smash. I don't want them here because that community sucks. And then I can remove them from following me all at once. Not that big of a... And then what banning doesn't do is unfollow them uh, from my channel, which means that even if they're banned and they follow me, they can see when I'm live again. I don't want that. I don't want them to get my notification that I'm live. I don't want any of that. I don't want them there, which raises another quick thing. And I, now this has been a really long part of the rant. But what's hilarious is that with that said, with that information that you have now about how all of these people who uh, know me must also not follow me. Think about how crazy that is because all of the people who watch me have to look me up manually every time I'm live. They don't, th this isn't like 50 people saying, oh man, Jayzo guy just went live. Time to watch him to make sure he doesn't raid any arenas. No, these are people who I have forced to unfollow me and can't refollow me. And so every night, even on nights where I'm not live, which is a lot of nights, I don't stream every night. And uh, I have a lot of streams where I'm not even on Smash. But these are people that have to look me up to find me every night to see if I'm live and then come and watch me. People look me up manually by name to watch me. Smashers, because they don't like me. That just, how does that sound? Do I sound like the crazy person or do the hundreds and hundreds of people who have to manually search me up to find me to see if I might be live to then just watch me because they don't like me. So which sounds weirder? A person who's just trying to protect their existing community from people who might harass them because they have been harassed before. So these, these are security measures. So that someone protecting their community or people who have to go out of their way to watch someone they don't like to warn other streamers that watch out, this guy got on me gunner tonight. Don't do anything clip worthy. Watch out. I'm watching. Really be honest with yourself. Which one is more pathetic? Now back to the clip. He's already making fun of my looks, even though he's just heard about me a little bit ago. So what's yeah, I am. Yeah, I am, motherfucker. So why you trolling my friends, bro? This is all you do is you just told you just told people online. That's all you do. All you do is play Smash all day. Troll? Again, every time this kind of thing comes up, you people say, "Yo, this guy's a troll." How am I a troll? The only thing that I've done so far is pick the me gunner character and win the match. Since when is picking that character trolling? That's see, that's another thing that I really don't understand. Like if you watch my videos, of course he doesn't and he's already admitted he's never heard of me and he's never seen my videos other than the five second clip. But if you watched my videos, you would see that I'm not trolling. 
I'm just playing me Gunner. I don't know why this is such a hard concept. Like, do you get what I'm trying to say here? There's nothing inherently trolling about picking the character. When I show off the reactions afterwards of the streamers and all that, that's the organic reaction of the streamer. So how is my choosing the character, the trolling part? I'm showcasing the activity and behavior and reaction. I don't understand. I'm, what if I was just like the best Byleth player? Yeah, I am, motherfucker. <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I don't play Smash all day, motherfucker. I got a job. That's yeah, what you okay. need to get is a job. Okay, okay. You have a job. I was you. working all day. I worked 12 hours. Sure you do, yeah. No, I don't. I got a sure job. you do, yeah. <laughs> Dumbass motherfucker. <laughs> nah, kick this, mother this guy's brain has truly devolved and reverted back to, you know, like first grade, second grade level thinking. Now he's making fun of my voice. Sure you do, because I said, sure you do. Like a sarcastic, dumb voice. Yeah, I like being sarcastic. And then he like repeats it. Sure you do. Like who, again, I just want to remind you that this is a grown man. And this all started because I played me gunner. And from his perspective, the only thing he knows is that a me gunner joined, started to win the matches. And then some chat member said, oh, I know this guy, kick him, kick him. And then he watched 10 seconds of a clip of one video, which out of context could be anything. Because again, I've explained how out of context clips about me have been used, but whatever, it doesn't matter. That's from his perspective, what he knows. He just heard about me and he's making fun of my looks and comparing subscriber counts and, and, and counting viewers. And now he's making, now he's making fun of my nasally voice, even though it was a voice to sound like stupid. Okay, whatever. But it's so, this is some really sad behavior. And if you're watching this from the outside, if you're not a smasher and you're just like, hmm, let's watch some like uh, some drama or something. I can't imagine a world where anyone is seeing this going, yeah, Jayzo. Jayzo is the bad guy here. He totally deserves being made fun of by random people he just met and people who just met him. He, he played the me gunner character. He deserves to be attacked for sure. I don't think anyone from the outside believes that the only people who will see it that way are his community and other smashers in adjacent smash communities because me gunner they hate me gunner that much it's programmed into their dna it is it is deep within their selves it is it it transcends who they are as a person they'll grow up hating me gunner they were born hating me gunner in between their death and birth dates they will always be anti me gunner no matter what doesn't matter but yeah this guy this fucking guy insane anyway continuing on <coughs> continuing on with the clip these are smashers oh i'm gonna tell you something right now bro get a job number one and you a straight up bitch you, you a pussy you a pussy bro that's what you do all day that's all you do you flex and smash bros on your on your youtube account bro Talking about, oh, yeah, I'm the best meat gunner in North Carolina. First off, who the fuck lives in bum ass North Carolina anyway? That's a pussy ass state. Second you off, you do don't do not understand with your life. anything about Smash, anything. Bro. So you need to get a light, bro. Dead ass. So he makes his face cam nice and big for the stream, all to see his, uh, his big sad eyes and his greasy face and looks right into the camera and calls me a straight up bitch and a pussy. So this guy has gone through many, many emotions just within the five minutes of first hearing about me and then saying two sentences to me back and forth in delayed Twitch streams and has concluded that I'm a straight bitch and a pussy. Also, remember earlier when I mentioned how he uh, called out my bio because it said I'm the best me gunner in North Carolina? Every single one of my videos, I just put something random in the description as a location. So it's like a pre-formatted description box where when I upload, it just says I'm the best me gunner in and then there's a blank. And then whenever I upload a video, I just put a random like place. Sometimes it doesn't, it's not even a real place. That particular one that he opened up and looked in the description of, it said North Carolina. Every time I add one, I just try to put a random place that I'm just randomly, I think I randomly put one that said, I'm the best me gunner in a tissue box. Or like I'll look around my room and be really bored, like not knowing what to put. And I'll just say, I'm the best me gunner in a in a, in a pink wireless mouse. Like I just put random places and random things. Go to all my videos, they're all different. So this guy is now insulting all of North Carolina saying it's a pussy ass state or something. What was it, a pussy state or a bitch state? Wait. 
to be Gunner in North Carolina. First off, who the fuck lives in bum ass North Carolina? Anyway? Oh, he said he said it's a bum ass state. That's a pussy ass state. Yeah, yeah, it's a pussy ass state. He said so. Bum ass North Carolina. I'm sorry, North Carolina. This guy thinks I don't know. He he doesn't like you, I guess. So again, he thinks I'm from there from the description of a random video. Yeah, so here's this guy's full cam mental breakdown about me. Even though his point of view, I did nothing but join as me gunner and win one. I was in the middle of one match while I was while he was doing all this. I'm I'm literally playing my second match while he's doing this. It couldn't have been more than like 7 to 10 minutes. Yeah, that's how fast all this guy's emotions and information about me came out just through like his few people in his Twitch chat. They don't build an actual opinion of their own. And he just starts like insulting me. And of course, he's got the mob mentality behind him in his little Twitch chat full of people who have also just heard bad things about me. So yeah, he calls me a little bitch or something and a pussy. And I don't care. Like, I, why, why do you care? I would truly like to know if this guy ever sees that. What's his name? L little, little Adrian. If you ever see this, what did I do in the first 10 seconds of you hearing about me? And like through, I guess, a couple of comments in your chat that you got so personally offended by my existence that you not only had to attack my looks and my voice like we're in second grade again, but also comparing our subscriber counts and all that stuff and viewer counts like any of this matters. Like I said before, you're not only just showing off how unstable you look right now by doing all this after admitting that you don't know me at all with all your who is this guy, bro? Who is this guy, bro? Like that happened 10 seconds ago. So that looks very unstable and just really weird. But to be so personally invested that you look into the camera as you make your eyes and everything so big and you and you look at me directly because this is so personal right now that I'm suddenly you think I'm a bitch or something. What is going on? What is going on with with these smash? What's going on with you? And what is going on with these smashers that are like this? I would truly like to know. Second you off, you do don't not do shit understand with anything about smash, anything. Bro. So you need to get a light, bro. Deadass. Oh yeah, and not that I owe any of you smashers any explanation about this. Because you mentioned it, saying something like, oh, you just play Smash all day, you flex in your YouTube channel. I've never ever flexed my subscriber count, my viewer count on Twitch, my, like, the amount of videos I make. In fact, I play it down because I don't want anyone to know that this is the thing I do for a few hours a week. And yes, it's only a few hours a week. I really only do get on Smash for a couple hours per stream, and it's usually like two or three streams max per week. So at the most, usually it's like six hours a week at the most. I also stream different games, and I also and I don't stream every day. And by the way, you're also about to hear in this clip that he says something like, oh, he's only got 370 hours on his account or something. Yeah, exactly. That's why you got followers only chat on because nobody likes you, bro. Everybody just waiting to go to your stream to talk shit. But you scared. You scared of people coming to your stream though because you know we're going to talk shit. You know we're going to talk shit because that's, that's all anybody wants to do to you. You pussy. This is, this the, is the kind of, and by the way, so remember you were asking me why, uh, why I still stream this? Honestly, this I is why. Report your stream. All day, every day, smashers. Oh, he kicked me. That's okay, cool. Get the fuck out the arena, bro. So yeah, now you know why smashers. Why I make videos to expose their behavior. I just join an arena and play, and everybody bugs out. I have now. <laughs> The entire streams vibe has been ruined because a me gunner joined and played. What if it wasn't me? What if I was off offline right now, actually? Like off stream, I should say. They would have done all of that, except I would have been like, you know, not even involved. So that was basically the end of it on my end, though I do know that they were talking about me for kind of a while. As you saw, I actually just closed out of there because I was just done with it. But yeah, apparently I was the topic of conversation in there for like the next at least hour or so. Could have been less. I'm not sure. But the point is they were talking about me until the stream completely ended. Just by being there and all of that, everything you just saw, you know, the whole fact that I really didn't do anything. It was just them all freaking out. The streamer having a, like an actual mental unstable breakdown. All of that. And then it continued like it continued for like really long time, even after I left and just did other stuff. Like I played a couple more games of Smash and then I got on Fortnite from when I X'd out his stream to just this one comment about him a little bit later when I was on Fortnite. I didn't talk about them or him at all whatsoever, but I was being talked about nonstop for 
ever until this guy's stream ended. So anyway, I'm gonna end it here with the vlog style part of the video. I'll run the clip of what I just mentioned about what I said on Fortnite like way later before the video ends. And I'm also going to run a clip that's really funny because there was one guy in his chat that, you know, throughout all this, there was one guy who said something like, um, caught your bitch ass or something like that. I'm pretty sure it said caught your bitch ass. And also the way that they talk about me whenever a me gunner joins and it happens to be me, it's, it's like a celebrity joined. Like I'll put a screenshot of the chat where one guy is like, you know, Jayzo. And then the other guy is like, OMG. Yeah, I know Jayzo. And then the whole chat is like, yeah, I know this guy. I know this guy. Again, it's like a celebrity just walked into this stream. I'm more noticed when a me gunner joins. Joins, and I'm more talked about when a me gunner joins than if a buy like a really good byleth joins and could be MK Leo. I'm I'm like on that level of famous to these people. However, though, if you go on some of these like Twitter people's uh you know replies about me, who even is this guy? Who is does anybody even know? Is this guy even relevant? Who cares about Jayzo? Does anybody even watch Jayzo? Does anyone know who he is? You'll see lots of that. And yet, this guy's chat proves otherwise. Again, what if I wasn't even the me gunner? What if I was like at work? What if I was playing ball? What if I was out with friends? Anything else? This mostly, most of all of this would have happened. There would have just been people because me gunners all play the same, right? Smashers. If a me gunner with the same setup came in and played, most of this would have happened, would have transpired, except for the parts where I was actually involved, like responding to him. So think about all the times that me gunners join other people's arenas and I'm really not the person who's the me gunner. I, most of the time, am not playing this game. It's rare that I'm on this game. Do you understand? So, statistically speaking, most of the me gunners that are, like, playing in arenas and online are not going to be me. So, just imagine all the freakouts that I just don't catch and record and comment on because it's not me. I'm not even home or doing something else. It's crazy. All right. So yeah, I'm like a goddamn celebrity to these people, the way they talk about me in this guy's chat. You know Jayzo too? OMG, I know Jayzo. You know who this guy is? Yeah, but does anybody even care about this Jayzo guy? Does anybody even watch him? Who is this guy? I've never heard of this guy, so here I am to morally guy, so judge him. Morally, morally judge grandstand, him. say I'm better, grandstand, and he's a bad person, and a, a bitch person. and a pussy. But I never heard of this guy before. Dude, like, the chat the was bugging, the chat was literally bugging I know. <laughs> just as you were playing. Yep. Stupid. Mob mentality, and they're like and the board of Star I'm, Trek. I'm, I'm, I was lurking the entire time during your stream. There, dude, there's, there's, it's, cr there's such a weird group of people. <laughs> I thought he wouldn't find him on his own plat. Isn't that the fucking, isn't that what that one guy said? He came into my Twitch stream and said, thought we wouldn't find you here. Some fucking smasher legitimately fucking said that. I'm literally live streaming to twitch.tv slash jazo24 and a smasher comes in and goes, yo, you're live right now. Thought we wouldn't find you on this, would you? <laughs> this really happens. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm hiding it. <laughs> Hiding for sure on my live stream on this website under my name. Sure, hiding from you.